In this video, we're going to do two questions related to subsets and power sets. So for the first one, we want to find two sets A and B such that A is an element of B and A is a subset of B. So this is a weird question, right? Because with power sets, if we take the power set of A, then A is an element of the power set, but A is not a subset of the power set. So what are we going to abuse here? Well, we're allowed to define both of the sets. So there's one property that always holds for subsets, and that is the empty set is a subset of every set. So we're going to pick A as the empty set. And now using the empty set, we're going to find a set B such that the empty set is an element of it. So we know that the empty set is going to be an element of any set that contains the empty set. So we can just define B as the set containing the empty set. And now we have sets A and B such that A is an element of B and A is a subset of B. So whenever you see these weird conditions where you have both an element and subset, the first thing you should always consider is the empty set. And you should consider some properties related to the subset, like what holds for every, everything. Is there something that is an element of every set? And the answer is no, but there is something that is an element or that is a subset of every set, and that would be the empty set itself. So you can construct your sets like this. Okay, second question. Determine if the following sets are power sets of some unknown set. So what I'm saying is, okay, I'm giving you a power set, or I'm giving you a set that looks like a power set. You have to tell me if it is a power set or not. So, first question. We have the set containing the empty set. So this has two to the zero elements, which is equal to one, so this is potentially a power set. So what could it be the power set of? Well, what about the power set of the empty set? Okay, well, what is the power set of the empty set? Well, it's the set containing the empty set, and that's exactly what this is. So, of course, the first one is a power set, mainly of the empty set. Okay, number two, we have the set containing the empty set, the set containing A, and the set containing the empty set, and the set containing A. So this has three elements in it, and this is not equal to 2 to the power k for some k in our positive integers, so this is not going to be a power set because we know the size of a power set is always going to be a power of 2. So this has three elements, so immediately we throw it away. Okay, third question. We have the empty set, and we have the set containing A. Okay, so this has 2, which is equal to 2 to the 1 elements. So this could be a power set. What do you think it's a power set of? Well, I see the element A here, so I want to think, okay, it's the power set of the set just containing A. So what is that power set? Well, it's going to be the set containing the empty set, and then the set containing the set A. And that is exactly what we see here. So this third one is indeed a power set. So of course, what I could ask is something with a lot more elements that's not quite as easy to reconstruct, and it might be more difficult to tell, but the biggest check that you can do is to make sure that the number of elements in the power set is a power of two, because that is an absolute requirement for cardinalities of power sets. So there's an odd number of elements, of course it's not a power set. Or what if we don't have a set with every, uh, with every element in the original set? So we also have to check to see is A an element of the power set of A? So this is another good way to check. And of course, the empty set should be in every power set. So those are some tricks and tips to help you figure out if sets are power sets. So if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them the best that I can.